was a high-profile attorney who was also a New York Times bestseller and a neurosurgeon on the side. I was a doting mother, a supermodel, a trophy wife, and a trust fund baby. I thought I had the perfect family and husband, but instead of marrying my childhood best friend at work at the McDonald's, I was too uppity and had to choose a nigga with a nine to five. You should have married the bus driver, stupid. I was a lover in your she put her career on hold to become a stay-at-home mother and allocated all of her money to help his broke-ass launch a restaurant. And it failed. I would stop breathing if you told me to. I told him, don't nobody want no Hennessy infused lemon pepper oxtail. Don't nobody want no Newport flavor hookah, nigga. That's just too much. But he ain't listening, so the business closed, we went bankrupt. He depleted my life savings, beat me, and ran off with the babysitter. No, I'm not gonna fly. I also found out he has secret children. God damn. He also part of the LGBTQ rainbow community. Damn. And he also got HIV. But things got better once she finally left the evil husband. I was rebuilding my life, got a job as a waitress to make ends meet. Then this beautiful, light-skinned, elder-barge-looking Negro came in and asked me for a coffee. Can you spare <coughs> some change, miss? Well, not really. But it was either this or die alone. I mean, sometimes you just got to get with whoever can pay the light bill. Yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You can the light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. He can't always pay the light bill, but he tried. He homeless. He got three kids and three baby mamas, but he likes skin and he loves the Lord. So we're going to live happily ever after. So they lived miserably ever after. Tyler Ferry Studios, where your pain is our champagne. Miserably married, coming to a tubi screen near you.